Hello and welcome to Miniature Adventures. I'm Big Lee and this week I want to ask, do you record your battles? So I was chatting to a non-wargamer friend recently and described all the games I've been playing and I was really getting into my subject and he seemed completely unfazed by my unbridled nerdgasm until of course I got to the bit where I mentioned my battle log. This is my spreadsheet, complete with graphs, logging all the games I've played since I joined the Rejects back in 2010. My friend gave me a strange look, and I'm sure that if he hadn't been sat down, he would have taken a step backwards. Now, I understand how this may look to a normal, but surely I can't be the only wargamer to do something similar. Needless to say, the experience got me thinking about how we record and remember our games. So I have played tabletop miniatures games since I was a, a young lad. Uh, it started with D&D, quickly progressed to Warhammer Fantasy Battle and many other role playing games and war games since. Sadly I didn't record much about those games and I only really took any photos, something I bitterly regret now looking back. So when, after a brief hiatus in gaming, my old group of friends decided to start a new D&D game, uh, I started to record all of those games in a campaign journal. I would type this up and share it with the group and it acted as a, a diary of our adventures and a way of keeping track of all of the bits of information we were gathering as the game went along. So when I discovered blogging and started that in 2009 I'd already developed this diarist's need to record events and I used the blog to start talking about my games, not just role playing games but uh, war games as well. About a year later I joined the Rejects and started to war game a bit more regularly and I decided to keep a list of all of the games that I played with them. Now I wish I'd done this years ago when I first started wargaming although if I'm honest it would have just been a long list of defeats. Over the years the list has developed and now now records solo games and remote games as well as in-person tabletop action. Some years are very grim reading indeed, such as 2015 where I had an 80% defeat rate. This year has been one of my best so far, with a victory rate above 70%. Now one of the advantages of having a blog is that I can go back and revisit all those games, look at the photos and my write-up and see how things went, and relive the experience. But that's if I can find those posts. So the next version of the spreadsheet will have the dates and links to each game included on the spreadsheet. It's going to take a while to go back and gather all this information and I may decide there are other details I want to record while I'm doing it. Possibilities include a login who took part, which games involve guest players from outside the group and links to uh, write-ups on other people's blogs of those battles. Now I am of course prevaricating and avoiding all the real tasks that need to get done in here in the operations room but once I get an idea like this in my head I can't help myself. All of which of course begs the question am I slightly bonkers or is this something that other wargamers do? Do you keep a diary or a log of your games above and beyond writing about them on a blog or other social media? And as always, I'd love to hear from you, uh, so please leave your comments below, as I'd love to know whether you think I need a medal or some time alone in a padded cell. So if you enjoyed today's video, please like, subscribe and share, and if you want to keep up to date with my weekly content from this channel, please tap the bell notification icon. So until next week, stay safe, keep gaming, and of course, keep rolling high.